today I took a little I was gonna say road trip but it's like 10 minutes of the road so it was not a road trip but I decided to venture to Aldi and I haven't done a food shop in Aldi in the longest time mainly because I'm trying not to do things at the moment that stress me out and Aldi is just one of those shops that just stresses me the whole experience the packing dread the packing anxiety um, I just find that it's a very like it's a great shop because you can just get so much for your money like I now I've been and bought as much as I have I'm like right now I remember why I go to Aldi because you truly can just get so much more for your money um, but I did sit in the car park for a while hyping myself up to go in but I feel like next time if I work on my packing skills get a little bit quicker um, lots of you guys said to not even bother putting it in bags and just put it all in the trolley and then pack at the boot which I think is a fabulous idea or actually I had loads of other good suggestions to get some trolley trolley bags I think they're called um, I had a few links sent to me so I'll link those down below but I'm just trying to find an easier way to shop at Audi. I think next time I'm going to take headphones as well. Loads of you guys said you take your AirPods and you listen to a cute Spotify playlist whilst you walk around. Anyway, I'm going off on a massive Audi tangent. So my loves, before we get into today's food shopping haul, today's video is very, very kindly sponsored by Cooking Voyage. As always, I will leave a direct link down below to Cooking Voyage. It would really, really help support my channel if you could use my link. So if you guys haven't heard of Cooking Voyage before, it's a restaurant management game, which enables you to explore some of the best, yummiest food from all over the world and enjoy the joy of cooking. I know some of you enjoy cooking just as much as me. I find it a real escape. Like I really, really look forward to just cooking a really nice evening meal. I feel like it's so relaxing and it's really rewarding, like cooking something super yummy. Morning whilst I was in enjoying my morning coffee in bed. I was playing on Cooking Voyage, I was making my cupcakes, I was sending them out to all my customers and it gets to a point where like you've got so many customers and you have to like satisfy them all like it's so so fun. Like I said I've never really been into games but this is something that I really really do enjoy. I now understand why people play games to relax because it's nice just not to really not really think about anything else and just have something to focus on that's just light-hearted and fun. It gives you a chance to cook foods from all over the world. It gives you a chance to run your own restaurant, which has always been like a little dream of mine. I've always said that I would love to own a restaurant and this kind of just makes my restaurant owning dream come true. Another thing I absolutely love about Cooking Voyage is you can actually decorate your own restaurant which is so fun. As you play you actually earn like little coins and then when you have a certain amount of coins you can buy new pieces of furniture or decorations or new kind of like little things that will help you cook like earlier I earned myself a new oven which meant I could cook cupcakes a hell of a lot quicker. You can almost like design your own restaurant it kind of takes me back to my teenage years which I love. I find in this lockdown I've just been trying to find little things that make me happy and this is just one of those things that really just takes my mind off the world that we're currently in and it's been just like my little escape each day where I can chill and just live my best chef life. So as Valentine's Day is just around the corner, Cooking Voyage actually have Valentine's Day events on their app where you can explore the new shopping mall and enjoy the romantic Valentine's Day rooms, which is so cute. So my loves, like I said, I will leave a direct link down below for Cooking Voyage, but if you are looking for something at the moment that is just relaxing and it doesn't really require too much thinking and it gives you something to do, then definitely give Cooking Voyage a try because it's really, really fun. So my loves, it's now time to get cozy and let's get straight into the weekly food shopping haul from Aldi. Okay, my loves, here we have everything that I picked up from Aldi this week. So let's, I've tried to do like little different sections. So I feel like I can do fresh, meat, fridge, dairy, and then snacky bits, cupboard, and then the random section over here, which you have to have a random section if you go to Aldi. Fresh section, I always like to get lots of fresh fruit. I love to have this in the fridge. I think it's so nice to just make a little fruit salad or a smoothie in the morning. So I picked up some Pink Lady Apples. These are my absolute favorite. They are so sweet. I love just having these sliced up, so refreshing and nice. Then I picked up these strawberries. How gorgeous do they look? I find it's a bit of a weird time for strawberries at the moment and when I usually get my shop from Morrison's, they're never very nice, but these, look how big and juicy they are. So again, I have those as a snack or in a fruit salad. 
I got some blueberries because I'm planning on making some healthy breakfast bars, um, which will be in next week's vlog if you'd like to see how I make those. But I need blueberries for that recipe, so I picked up those. Also got some red grapes. I got some pineapple because I'm gonna cut this up and keep this in the fridge in a Tupperware. Again, great for smoothies. I actually make this green juice, which I love, which I pop pineapple in. And I also got some bananas. Again, a great little snack. And apparently, if you eat bananas before you go to bed, it, it makes you sleep better. I also got some limes and lemons. I got lemons to make my lemon and ginger tonic, and I got limes because I love the taste of lime on stir fries and stuff at the moment. I think it's really, really nice. Um, and then, where should we go next? Over here we've got some new in bits. This rainbow rice is new. Um, I have had cauliflower rice before and I just thought this looked really nice. I thought it'd be a nice alternative to actual rice. Chopped cauliflower, carrot, butternut squash, broccoli and chai. I think we might try this tonight. Um, and then I also picked up a few stir fry packs. I do usually make my stir fry from scratch and I get like peppers and tender stem broccoli but Audi didn't have any tender stem and I wanted to show you guys these just in case you do like buying the stir fry packs because they are a lot easier than making your own and I find you do get a lot more variety in there. So I got this mixed pepper stir fry, can't go wrong with a mixed pepper stir fry. And then I also picked up this edamame bean stir fry which I felt like would be really really nice with teriyaki chicken. I got two ripe avocados. Honestly, Aldi is the best place for avocados. I always find they're just really big and ripe. Got some of these for a nice brunch. I thought these would go nicely with some eggs and some toast and again, a nice little superfood to pop in salads. Um, and then underneath my avocados, I got some sweet mini peppers. I love these. These are so, let me pop my avocados over there. So nice, dipped in hummus. Um, they're just really sweet and nice and I love that they're mini as well, of course. These Mediterranean vegetables are so good. You literally pop them in the oven for like 25, 30 minutes and they're just so yummy and super filling. I have these with salmon fillets. That is one of my favorite dinners. You can also have these with maybe like some nice spiced chicken I feel like would be nice. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite little things to get from Aldi and I'm pretty sure they're like £1.29, which is really, really good. I picked up lots of herbs because I love just loads of flavor on my cooking. Two packs of coriander because I have a lot of stir fries, as you guys know, and coriander is an absolute essential for me on a stir fry. Um, then I also got some mints to have some lemon and mint water. If you haven't tried lemon and mint water, would highly recommend. It makes your skin glowing. Then I also got as well some rosemary because um, rosemary is really lovely on like roasted chicken and I felt like I could have rosemary chicken with the Mediterranean veg. Thought that would be a really nice healthy little dinner. And I got some watercress spinach and rocket to go in my wraps that I sometimes have at lunch and also just for little side salads. Um, sometimes I do like a chicken dish and I just want something nice to go on the side so I thought I could have it all side salad. Also got some carrot sticks under there as well to go with the hummus as a nice little snack or a lunch. And then I also got these mixed baby plum tomatoes. I love these as a snack. I think they're really, really yummy as a snack or again, chopped up in a side salad or actually, I make this really, really nice um, tomato salad, which is all different sizes of tomatoes, fresh basil leaves, um, garlic, olive oil, and red onion. Oh my God, it's so yummy. I'll have to show you guys how I make that one day because it's just a really nice thing to have on the side. I also picked up two really big sweet potatoes. I thought these would be really nice to have as a jacket potato with lots of tuna and cheese or baked beans. It'd be great for wedges as well, which I think I might use them for because they are absolutely huge and moving on to my kind of like fridge dairy meat section i picked up this soup i love chicken lasker i actually made it for the first time the other week when i got hello fresh um and it was so nice so i thought this would be great for a little lunch or dinner if i'm not feeling very hungry i thought you could have this with pita or some nice crusty bread aldi actually had loads of really nice flavored soups they had a moroccan chicken one they had a cajun chicken one they had pumpkin and butternut squash really did have a huge variety of these soups which I was about to say I feel like they're new and there's a big blue sticker there that says I'm new <laughs> and I also picked up some sweet chili and pumpkin falafels which are again new I thought these would be really yummy in a pita bread with hummus as a lunch or you could make a little Mediterranean meze and have these on there and I also picked up some of this curried coconut and lime chicken I love making wraps at lunch at the moment I just think it's a really easy yummy lunch and I love coconut 
coconut and I love lime so I thought that would be really nice again Aldi had loads of new flavors of this as well Then moving on to cheese I picked up some lighter mature cheddar I always have cheese in the fridge because I just find sometimes I just need the cheese and I feel like it's a bit of a staple to have in the fridge um, so I got this one I always go for the lighter one because I personally think it tastes exactly the same as the full fat one. I also picked up a halloumi because halloumi is life and this was literally a pound in Aldi which is crazy. This is usually two to two pounds fifty in a normal supermarket. It would be a really really nice lunch. Halloumi, the falafel, pita and hummus. That would be a really nice like Mediterranean lunch. But I got this because I like to make homemade Nando's quite a lot. Let me know if you would like to see that in a video, but I like to have grilled halloumi, Nando's chicken, and macho peas and spicy rice. That's one of my favorite dinners. Some of these light baby bells, I like to keep these in the fridge just as a little snack. If you make little lunch boxes or pack ups for anyone in your family, I feel like these would be a nice little snack to have. Then I also got a few yogurts. I didn't get too many yogurts because we actually do already have some in the fridge um, from when I did the food shop last week. I picked up a selection of different ones. I got these protein yogurts. I got this peach and passion fruit flavor and also a vanilla flavor. I haven't actually tried these ones, so I thought I'll just get two, see if I like them. I got these because me and Jamie actually got ones to these very similar in M&S last week and they were so yummy. They're not really healthy yogurts. They're more of a dessert, but oh my God so nice i got myself a strawberry one and i got jamie a sicilian lemon one and they look exactly the same as the m&s ones but like half the price then also i picked up a few stir fry sauces i got this chinese style one and also this hoisin one then moving on to fresh meat I love these little packs that aldi do around two pounds fifty and i just think they're such a great easy meal idea they are actually for two people so i got two of these Chinese chicken stir fries because we love these. They also do a teriyaki beef one. They do a chicken fajita one. They do a fish fajita one as well, which sounds interesting. They do a chicken stew. They do chicken tikka. They, they honestly have so, so many. And I think for under £2.50, unreal because if you bought all of this separate it would be so much more expensive so we're probably going to have this tonight and i think i'll do this with some rice or i've also got some noodles or we could actually have our rainbow rice i feel like as well these would also make a really nice lunch i also got some salmon fillets you guys know i love salmon one of my favorite dinners is actually salmon and the mediterranean vegetables and either some rice or potatoes or sometimes i do just have salmon and veg depending how hungry i am i feel like this ham is a major throwback to when I always used to shop at Aldi but this ham is so so good I love to have this in an omelette or with scrambled egg another little snack that I thought would be nice is one of these light baby bells and then ham wrapped around it thought that would be a nice little little afternoon snack I also picked up this little selection that I thought we could have as like a little lunch platter I thought I could do this with some nice vegetables cut up and again some hummus or some other kind of dip then I got some parma ham, which is my absolute favourite. This is this so nice in pasta or to wrap over chicken, and I feel like it really adds a lot of flavour. I also have this on homemade pizza. I feel like, again, it's just something nice to have in the fridge. Then, for chicken, I picked up this gigantic pack of chicken, which was only £8.99, which I really do think is amazing. Okay, moving on to these, which Jamie loves for his lunches. Um, so if you are struggling to think of things to have for lunch and you just want something really quick and easy and also healthy, these are great. I actually had one of these the other week um, just to see what they were like mainly. And I actually had the Piri Piri Chicken one. It was so good and so filling. And the calories are on here as well. So this has 326 calories and it's like a nice little bolognese with some veg in there. And the Piri Piri Chicken is again 372 calories. And this was really, really nice because it had lots of veg in there, some beans and it was real yummy. Then I also got, got a beef and three bean chili. But Jamie will typically have these for lunch just purely for ease and it fills him up. So yeah, really nice little lunch idea. And these are, I think, £1.19 each, which is unreal. We have reached my favourite section, which is the snack section. Snacks. I literally can't say snacks without doing that. 
So I love to have lots of snacks in the house for one of those days where I'm feeling very hungry in lockdown, which is a lot of the time, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I like to fill the house with like healthy snacks so I don't eat chocolate. I'm on a chocolate ban at the moment. I usually get super peckish at like 9 p.m. Like after I've had dinner, I'm laying in bed watching my series and I'm like, I need snacks. So I picked up a little selection. I got these for Jamie because he loves peanut butter. I've never actually tried these, but I thought they looked really nice because they're like a little popcorn bar. Um, so I got those for him, only 88 calories in one of the little bars. I mean, there are a lot of wheels of death down there, but everything in moderation. Oh my gosh, these are one of my favorite bars ever. You know the naked bars that you get in other supermarkets? These are basically a dupe of those, but nicer. Quartart ones are my favorite, but there's another one they do called pecan pie and it tastes like a dessert, it's so good. Then I also picked up some Audi pop chips. These are actually nicer than the original pop chips. I find they're less, they've got less flavor on, but I kind of like that, because I don't really like things that are too, too flavory. But these dipped in hummus, you need to try it. It's absolutely delicious. So I picked up a barbecue flavor and also sour cream and onion, which again, I love. I got a little selection of nuts. I got pistachios and also cashews. Are oh, £1.29 in Aldi, which is crazy. If you were to buy a pack of nuts this big in any other supermarket, you'd probably look in you'd probably be looking at like five pounds. So the fact you can get all of these for £1.29 is so good. They're a really good filling snack. They are high in calories, but they're also high in other good fats and fiber. So I like to have a little handful of these if I'm a little bit peckish. I picked up two of these little snack bags, which kind of remind me of the little graze boxes that you get. So I got a wasabi peas one and a smokehouse barbecue little selection of peas, corn chips, and chili corn. Jamie loves these as a little afternoon snack. Then I picked up something that really isn't healthy, but it reminded me of my childhood. So I got some Pop-Tarts. My favorite ones of these are the cherry ones, and I haven't been able to find them in so long. They literally taste like cherry bake well, they're so good. Um, but I got these chocolate ones because I just couldn't resist. And then these were completely unnecessary <laughs> and expensive, but Again, they took me back to my childhood. My dad used to own a pub and um, he used to have bottles of Diet Coke and I was never allowed to have them. <laughs> he always told me, have some out of the pump and it kind of reminded me of those days which made me kind of sad but kind of happy at the same time. I was getting all sentimental in Audi today. <laughs> um, so I picked up some of these. I got some for my mum which I can drop round later today. Coke tastes different out of a bottle. Honestly, it tastes so much different. It tastes so much more luxury. But these were $2.99 each, which I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's quite expensive, but I feel like it's a nice little treat. Then I also just got some cans of Diet Coke. I do like to always have a little selection of diet fizzy drinks in the house because I always fancy one like late afternoon. Um, and I really like to have one with my dinner as well. Then I also picked up some oat milk. I have been having this in my coffee machine over there, and this is the only non-dairy milk that I've found really throths up. I've tried coconut milk and also almond milk, and it just doesn't go throthy like dairy milk. But if you do have a coffee machine, try oat milk because it goes really frothy and lovely. I already had some unreal things in like the random aisles amongst the chainsaws and tents and wooden spoons and all of the random stuff. They had some really, really good bits. I feel like because I haven't been in so long, Long, I forget how like fun it is. It's like finding hidden gems in the random in the random aisles. But they had milk throffers, which were I think twenty pounds. They also had um, soup makers, which were cheaper than they are on Amazon. They also had like over the cupboard food storage things for spices and stuff, which I thought was really good. They had coffee machines. They had kettles. They just had really really good bits in the random. Finds bit today. And then moving on to this section here, which is like cupboard bits and some more random bits over there. I got a fajita dinner kit. Just thought that would be nice to keep in the cupboard. I love fajitas and I think it's always nice to have one of these. It's just an easy, again, healthy dinner. I like to have lots of salad with my fajitas to kind of fill me up a little bit more. Then moving round to this side cereal. Oh, how I love cereal. I love cereal at like 10 p.m. in bed. Cereal tastes so much better at night. 
<laughs> so I picked up these fruit benefits these are exactly the same as special K if not nicer and they are I think just over a pound so I got two of those because me and Jamie both love those then I also picked up these fruit wheats which are the raisin ones they also had apricot ones just thought these looked so good I love cereal so much it's literally one of my favorite foods and I got some honey and seeds protein granola one of Jamie's favorite snacks at night like when I'm having my bowl of cereal he'll have this with some yogurt and honey then I got a few bits for the cupboard funny story of today these are all in Aldi like this and they're in their little cardboard thing like this I pulled one out of the cardboard and the lid was not on and I literally squeezed it and it went all over the place <laughs> That was today's bad experience in Aldi. I got some tomato puree, really, really, really cheap in Aldi. I think it's like, I think it's like under 30p, which is incredible. But I like to have this just in case I decide to make homemade pizzas or homemade wrap pizzas or to pop a little bit in pasta. I just feel like it's a nice handy household item. Then I got some mango chutney because I had a HelloFresh meal the other day, which was mango chutney wraps, and they didn't include enough mango chutney. Like, I wanted more. So I picked up some of this for next time I want to make that, because that was one of my favourite dinners ever. Then I got some tomato and mascarpone pasta sauce. I thought this would be really, really nice for, like, an easy lunch to have some pasta with this and a little bit of cheese. The sauce I got was this bolognese one. Again, nice to keep in the cupboard just in case you fancy pasta. I got some honey. This again was under a pound. So good for Jamie's little snack of this granola and yogurt. I got two peppers. Again, these are under a pound. Amazing. We've literally just run out. Food is not the same without pepper. So I got two of those just in case we run out again. Oh my god, I was so excited about this. Aldi Biscoff spread. I am excited to try this. I have a very unhealthy obsession with Biscoff. If this is like the Lotus Biscoff spread... I'm probably going to be eating the whole jar tonight with a spoon. Does anyone else do that? Jamie thinks I'm really weird for eating like Nutella and Biscoff out the jar with a spoon. I love it. And again, this was under a pound. Then I also got some peanut butter or on toast for breakfast. I also got some of this to try. Crunchy nut peanut butter. Thought that looked interesting. Then I got some balsamic vinegar and also some garlic oil. I love garlic oil with cooking, like if you're cooking chicken or anything in the pan or salmon. Garlic oil just gives it so much more flavour. I also love to have this with the tomato salad that I spoke about. Um, and also, let's not forget, olive oil and balsamic dip with bread is the best ever. I also just got some white bread because Jamie has toast every morning. And I also picked up some wholemeal pitters to go with the hummus and the little mezze I said I was going to make. And I also got some wraps because I've been loving these at lunch. Okay, everyone, we're on to the random section. <laughs> so I picked up some Galaxy Light hot chocolate. I love the original Galaxy hot chocolate. So I thought I'd try the light one. I'm very excited to have a mug of this. I feel like I haven't had hot chocolate since Christmas. So I'm looking forward to that later on. Then I also got some of this coffee whitener. Um, I'm excited to try this and see what it's like. So it's an alternative to milk or cream for a smoother, creamier coffee. Some kitchen foil because we've literally just run out. I also got some of this bubble bath, which I absolutely love. I've got the pomegranate one upstairs, which is so good. So I thought I'd try the lime, basil and mandarin. I think this is about three pounds, but it really does last for such a long time. And it really does make your bath like super bubbly. Then I got some Lenore Crease Release. I never knew this gold orchid one existed and this is one of my favourite scents. I actually have the little washing pods of this at the moment and I love them so I thought I would give this a go because I know that's going to make my washing smell so nice. Just the little things that are making me happy at the moment like Aldi food shops and nice smelling washing. Also picked out some of this Fabulosa Fresh Apple Zing Fabulosa Spray. Thought I'd give that a try. And I also got some Comfort Intense. Then, look how cute this is. I've told you guys so many times that me and my mum have an obsession with Paddington Bear. And whenever I see anything with Paddington Bear on, I have to buy it for my mum. So I'm going to go and deliver her little presents later of her hand gel and also her Coke Zeros. Listen, if you've been with me from the start of this YouTube journey... These will, these will be in your heart like they are mine. They hold a small part of my heart. 
When I first started doing clean with me videos, I used to clean my entire house with Audi Apple floor wipes and they're pretty amazing. So I picked up some more um, just to kind of go over the worktops with them and also on the floor, you know when you've got like a splodge or something but you've only just cleaned the floors, you don't need to clean the whole floors again. This is great for that and I mean you can clean your whole house with them because I used to and it used to be really clean. Also got my mum, some flowers as well. How pretty are these? These were only £2.79. I think they're so pretty. I love roses. Then I also got some microfiber cloths. Mine have just gone a little bit manky. I feel like there's only so many times you can wash a microfiber cloth. So I picked up some new ones of those. And then last but definitely not least, from the random aisles, I got one of these, which is like a slicer. Um... I don't really know what to, oh, all right. So you can make curly cucumber. When I made teriyaki chicken the other day, I really wanted curly cucumber on it and I feel like the universe provided me with this in Aldi today so I could do curly cucumber. Aldi have got loads of little great kitchen tools like this. And then I also picked up this chip tray, um, not even for chips, just for things in the oven. I find it so annoying when you put things in the oven and they don't cook on the bottom and then they're soggy because it has the little holes it will get heat from the bottom, which will just be really, really useful for any kind of wedges or just anything really for the oven. My loves, that is everything that I picked up from Aldi this week. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like me to do another food shopping haul, but maybe from a different shop, I would be more than happy to, so just let me know. But I am so happy I went to Aldi. I feel like, because I haven't been in so long, I just forgot how good it was and I forgot how much you can get for your money and just how much more affordable it is. I feel like I'm going to venture to Aldi a lot more. Really, really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. If you are new here, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Really, really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.